size is that tree? We're out here at Solo Creek in Washington. We're looking for quartz crystals. Uh, they should be some good spears and clusters out here. And exactly like Hanson Creek, it's a complete train wreck of a spot. I'll show you some of the, the holes people have been digging out under trees. Uh, it's a 70 degree Sunday and there's five other cars here. So unlike Hanson Creek, the remoteness of this makes it way less accessible. So this is kind of a hole that we came to and started to dig around. But as you'll see here, the place is completely dug up. Let's look, this, look, let's look, check this out here. Yeah, the things crystal loving hippies do. That's really not the safest thing. You can see we just came from up there. All these dead trees from people digging their holes. Tons of discard piles of just quartz. It's really nice quartz, but it's not a crystal. And uh, I think this is kind of the prime example of why we're not into this really. You know, it's nice to go rock hunting in a cool, peaceful place that's clean. Um, there's definitely signs of hippie trash here. Some serious work here. And then clearly the digging kind of stops on that side of the little, little canyon here. So Either there's crystals over there and people haven't worked their way over there yet, which I seriously doubt, or it's all up this destroyed hillside and possibly more that direction. So this is the hole that we're going to work, mostly because it's up high and kind of flat and dry. Easy place to tie the dog up and we'll probably work this area where other people have worked and I'll show you what we get and then we'll go home and clean everything and see if there's anything actually interesting. Like yeah, so I'm sure everybody has their own technique on picking a place to dig up here. But this area, you kind of see these littler pieces are more pure. They have more faces on them. So like that right there. So this is probably a decent spot to spend a couple hours provided the dog doesn't eat a toad. Stuff here, it's very like crystalline in structure but and there's some crystals inside it but as you can see I can kind of just break it apart which um, take some of this stuff and fill up this bucket probably take it home and we'll wash it through a series of screens and see what we have did some digging open that hole up there's some good stuff some not so good stuff but <clears throat> I think it'll be interesting you know we're not we got some crystals um, I'm a little more interested in seeing the different metamorphic stages that are here and some more of the geological aspects and less of the calling myself moonbeam and charging crystals like a wingnut. So this hole here likely had that tree in it and because of people looking for crystals it's now downed. And this is why we can't have nice things. Okay, so this is a two gallon bucket, so you can kind of see how much material we got. Of course, this is not 100% quartz. 
crystals. A lot of it's just very pure quartz. Uh, so we're gonna wash it through a couple of screens here and we can get a better idea as to what type of material comes out of Solo Creek. So here is, here is everything that we got. This is everything bigger than a half inch. It's everything bigger than a quarter inch. And this is everything that's bigger than an eighth. It's the screens. So uh, I'm going to go through and sort all of this and uh, find the crystals in it. And I'll show you what we got. And I might also probably put, a, put aside some of the more interesting quartz specimens. So here's some of the better pieces. You can really see that that one's got some nice faces to it. Now, I'm not super concerned about having that scepter that everybody wants. Um, I think this is a pretty good representation of the type of material that generally comes out of that area, and that's what I'm going for. Add it to the collection. Um, fill a jar and move on to the next spot of collect you know, for collecting everything I can from Pacific Northwest. As always, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button and the bell for more rock hounding videos.